Good morning, everyone. At the outset, I would like to thank Dr. Sahu and Dr. Boramani for this wonderful opportunity. Manual small incision cataract surgery is now practiced in both developed and the developing countries. It involves the extraction of a complex, complete or divided nucleus from the capsular bag through the capsular opening and then through this corneoscleral tunnel. A number of techniques of nucleus delivery have evolved over time. These techniques have their own merits and demerits. So nucleus management involves basically two steps, prolapsing the nucleus into the anterior chamber and second is nucleus delivery through the scleral tunnel. So after uh, thorough hydrodissection, the nucleus can be prolapsed into the anterior chamber by the various methods like hydroprolapse, viscoprolapse, and prolapse with the Sinsky hook. Hydro procedure should never be done with anterior chamber full of viscoelastics. So the tip of the cannula is placed between the capsule and the cortex and fluid is injected continuously. The wave of the fluid passes through the nucleus to the opposite side and one pole of the nucleus pops out. So this, is, this technique works best for the soft cataracts. Rest of the nucleus can be prolapsed using tip of the cannula or the Sinsky hook. Another method is by using Sinsky hook which can be hooked at the equator of the nucleus. The nucleus is then pushed across the opposite side and one pole is prolapsed out of the back and then by upward and the outward rotatory movement rest of the nucleus is prolapsed out of the bag. I think some of the videos have played early. So um, once the nucleus is in the anterior chamber, nucleus delivery can be done by various technique. To simplify, we can discuss them as technique where nucleus is delivered in toto and where it can be done by phaco fragmentation. Blumenthal's uh, mini uh, nucleus technique will be discussed by ne Dr. Nita and endo expression of nucleus by, uh, will be discussed by Dr. Kodial. And snare I think will be covered by Arpit. So they have made my job very easy and I'll try to discuss some commonly used technique in the following slides. So sandwich technique. Instruments required for sandwich technique includes wire vectors and the Sinsky hook. Firstly, the visco is injected between below the uh, nucleus to push the iris and the back down and above to protect the nucleus, to protect the endothelium. The curved vectus is then injected underneath the nucleus and Sinsky hook above the nucleus and the nucleus is extracted with gentle depression of the scleral lip. So this is another technique with irrigating vectus. Irrigating vectus has an anterior uh, end with three small irrigating ports each port is of 0.3 mm in size. The posterior end is connected with to the syringe. Check for the patency of the port. Then, uh, th just a second, yeah. Check the, for the patency of the port, then the irrigating vectus is then inserted sideways under the nucleus to engage the nucleus. Then the superior rectus brittle suture is pulled and the irrigating vectus is slowly withdrawn without without irrigating. Once the superior pole of the nucleus is engaged in the scleral, uh, in the tunnel, the irrigation is then started and vectus is slowly withdrawn while depressing the scleral lip. You can also tighten the superior rectus at this stage if in case you, uh, you are used to uh, take the superior rectus. So this is another way of using the vectus. After filling the anterior chamber with viscoelastic, vectus is inserted underneath the nucleus. The nucleus is then delivered by gentle depression of the scleral lip with non-dominant hand pulling the superior rectus. So his, here is another video of the same, same technique. Now visco expression is practiced very commonly. Anterior chamber is filled with OVDs. Superior rectus brittle suture is tightened. The curved visco cannula is inserted under the nucleus so that the tip of the cannula appears over the iris at around 6 o'clock position. OVD is then injected and simultaneously the floor of the tunnel is depressed uh, with the cannula itself. Along with OVD, the nucleus just comes out very easily. So we've been talking about managing astigmatism with, uh, in, during the SICS. So here comes the role of phaco fragmentation. 
Phago fragmentation or phago section is the only way by, by which uh, the tunnel size can be minimized to 2 mm or let's say 4 mm. Uh, where the foldable intraocular lens can be implanted. And in experienced surgeon's hand, the results may be comparable uh, to FACO emulsification. So, uh, so to my take home points will be, tunnel should be of adequate size. Adequate viscoelastics injected above and below the nucleus is the best thing. Nucleus is properly engaged by the vectis and uh, slight but adequate depression is given on the scleral lip to ease the delivery of the nucleus. While using the vectors, ensure counter-traction is given by pulling on the superior rectus. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dr. Arti, giving the good description.